All right, this is Dave Bennett. It's August 22nd, 2015, and I want to cover the TDHA toolbar. So I'm going to do this series real quick going through the uh, the main important functions of the toolbar. So if you have a TDHA template, um, then you can get the toolbar. Okay, let me know if you don't have it. And it allows you to go creating all the variability that you want to create lots of subdomains or lots of content on one website. And it can replace Moji because pretty much everything that makes Moji what it is, we built into the T to H A toolbar for Excel so that on a single website, uh, you can do a Moji run on that website. Like if I start on this website, I can do a Moji run on this website just using the T to H A toolbar, not using Moji at all. Okay, that's what's improved. That's what's different now. Okay, you would still use Moji for downloading web pages elsewhere, you know, um, just going to some guy's site, downloading their page and starting in, okay, like a WordPress website or whatever. Uh, any old website will do. <laughs> but for our purposes, we're going to just start already with the T to H A website. It simplifies everything, and we're just going to do the work here. So you would start by getting in the uh, global settings, or getting in the admin panel anyway, and that's where everything is, right? Global variables, sidebar, pages, global settings, everything is here. And if I want to download the entire website, I would download the sample feed file. That contains everything about the website. The general settings is the general settings. The theme settings is the theme settings. Style and color is the typography. Pages are the pages, sidebar is the sidebar. Global variables or global variables, I can download them. Okay, that gives me that file. Now, I can open the file, I can see everything about it, um, and I would say pull it into my domains, I go working on it here. Well, I'll just show you something I set up in there. We're going to start going through the functions because I've got everything lined up. All right, so let's go through the first thing. It's pretty cool. And just start here. Here's the T to H A toolbar right here. Okay, and when you click on it, you see a number of macros. This is what we want to go through right now. Let's go through the first one. It's really awesome. It's Pages Viewer. And here's how it works. No matter what I have on this page, I could have a bunch of stuff over here or nothing. The idea is to have a list of URLs in the first column. Okay, column A. And no breaks in there, no stray spaces. Long as you have a list of URLs, then you can hit Pages Viewer and you can open it with Firefox or Chrome, whatever you got installed on your computer. And if you, you can open it with Firefox to see all the cool Firefox plugins or Chrome if you want it to load faster. Usually it's quicker than Firefox. So, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm going to hit OK and it's going to open those 27 websites right in separate tabs for me, right next to each other. You know how cool that is? So I can make sure all these websites got done. Okay, I can make sure everything is done, all the stuff is done that's supposed to be done, everything is doing what it's supposed to do. You know, I can go through all the stuff directly and make sure I like what's going on. So all the T to H A websites that I'm checking in on, I can make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and that they're up and they're live and everything's gonna work. Okay. Just you know, question of what you want to build, right? All right, so there you go. That's one cool thing you can do. By the way, we did do this bit with multiple parallax, right? Multi parallax view. Isn't that awesome? Look at that effect. Look at that. That's so awesome. So we can do that now. That's really cool. We can do a lot of things, <laughs> but that's one that people were wondering about. Okay, what else could you do? Well, let's say you wanted to do a bunch of sitemap checks because, hey, you know, maybe let Moji run all night after all. So you need to see if it really got all the work done. Again, isn't it cool when it can just open all of those tabs right next to each other and you can rapidly whip through them and just make sure that they're all live, okay, and that there's not going to be an issue with them, okay, that they all got done, right? That's helpful. What about admin panels? By the way, what if you happen to have a header in there that is not a URL? You accidentally forgot and just put something weird in there. Who knows what it says? It's not a problem. Pages viewer. Maybe I'm going to open these administrator panels, say in Firefox or whatever, and I'm just going to show you. So if I do, well, of course, the first page couldn't be found. That's not a real URL. Okay. 
Uh, but the rest of it, if you have something like an auto form filler and you save different profiles, then you could maybe like save a profile that would treat all of these as a group. And so it would just auto fill in all the details for all of them right at once. That way you could easily just log into them all. Log into that one, log into that one, log into that one, log into that one. And yeah, you can do that. There's no problem with working in multiple admin panels at the same time. Um, that will work. It's very cool, actually. Okay, you can get a lot of things done rapidly if you're say, if you're saying, I'm going to go to the first tab and change all of these things and come to the next tab and change all of those, come to the next tab and change all of these. That's very cool. Okay, having done that, what else? Okay, index checking. Say you want to see if your page has got indexed. Again, how useful is that when you can just do it? Like so. Bap. Uh, okay, we were doing 1,350 pages for each of those sites at the time, and one of these pages had some sample sites on it, so like 320 or so, some extras. Uh, other than that, it should be right about 1,350 every single time, 1,340, about the same. Uh, 1,350, 40, 50, 50, and yeah. And they're indexing really fast. They're indexing pretty much fully, and that's because Google loves them. The, the coding is right. There's no errors in them. They're modern. Pretty useful, right? Okay, there's that. If you want to do validator checks, you can do validator checks. All right, that's the pages viewer. I'm going to stop this video now because the next one's going to be about the article feeder. So I'll go through that in a separate step.